Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a color correction using Sony Vegas to go from this to this in just a couple easy steps. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Sony Vegas and I'm not exactly sure what program is going to have this, what version of Sony Vegas, but I have Sony Vegas Pro 10 and so first you're going to want to have to find a clip so uh, this is on the map resistance on Xbox 360 and this is kind of like a grayish looking map it doesn't have a lot of life and color but this is an HD clip and I recorded with an HD PVR and if you use HD PVR one thing you might notice is when you finish your videos and you watch them on either YouTube or something like YouTube, you notice a black line along the sides, either the left, the right side, or the top of it. Um, and I found a quick and easy solution to fix this. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit that crop button. It's right above the video effects button on the video clip. And you can do two things but I already have a preset set up and I'm going to show you how to do that exactly um, so you want to have these three things selected and then you're going to want to go over to any one of these corners and just move it in the slightest bit and you'll notice in your video the black lines have been eliminated already and to save this just click out on the uh, white space above it and type in something like HDPVR so you know what it, what it is and hit the save icon and then you go ahead and you'll see that in your list of presets and when you click it every time you make a video with your HD PVR you automatically have that preset so the black lines disappear so next I'm going to show you is the color correction to bring this this image of the video or entire video I'm just gonna keep this still frame just to show you exactly how to bring it to life so now you're gonna want to hit either this event effects video video effects icon over here or you can hit it for the whole entire track so if you say you're making a montage and you want to add a lot of life and color to it then I suggest you have a track just for gameplay and use this track right here this is what I'm gonna call my montage track with the gameplay and you're gonna hit this tra track effects button over here and go ahead and click on that this screen will pop up and you'll have all these choices and the f first one you're going to want to see is color Sony Color Corrector Secondary and go ahead and press add for that and then go over to Sony Vegas HSL Adjust and hit add for that and you may want to use Sony Color Corrector which is just a regular color corrector that lets you add a lot of color take away color from the video but for this video I'm not going to do that I used to use that, but I discovered these two new options that work very well. So go ahead and hit OK once you've done that. And now you're going to be like, oh, he's going to tell us all these numbers or tell us what to move. But no. For the color corrector secondary, there's already a preset for this one. And it's going to be Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And go ahead and click that. And then you'll notice there is like a gray overlay on top of the video that just disappear disappeared and it made this video more, more realistic and bring more life to it and then you're gonna wanna hit HSL adjust and now you're not sure what to do guess what there's another preset for the HSL adjust and you're gonna wanna go to the bottom one to saturation and luminance boost and go ahead and click that and you'll notice a lot of color not a lot, not too much color, but a good amount of color has been added to your video or image or whatever you custom, you're customizing. And if you think this is too much, you can move the luminance back and forth, no, the saturation, and that will add or take away color from the video or image. And once you're done with that, you go, go ahead and hit X on that, and your video should work out pretty fine. And if your preview doesn't load fast enough, if you don't have the best computer to run that, what I like to use is preview half for my computer because it's it's good enough quality to understand what's going on, 
but it's not that full HD. So if I'm want to play a full video, then I want to have that on preview half. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.